one of the um, um, one of the things we share is kind of um, commitment and love of a lot of the literature that comes out of the Midwest and. Um, the passage that resonates, I mean, there are a lot of great writers who I associate with Chicago and the Midwest, from um, Willa Cather to Richard Wright, really. Uh, and a lot of the moments that are really definitive when it comes to writing about the Midwest take place on trains. Um, as we think about the Midwest also as a place uh, that brings people together, that is a thoroughfare and nexus. Amazing train moments in Midwestern writing. Um, there's a, there's a moment in The Great Gatsby, maybe some of you are familiar with this novel, uh, when Nick Carraway, after a kind of series of debauched reckonings on the East Coast, comes back to the Midwest, and he's on a train. And he um, uh, is conceiving of, is thinking about, is remembering my Middle West, my Middle West, he calls it. And he's taking the train from the East Coast back into Chicago's Union Station with a lot of his um, friends from college. And they are all fanning out to these smaller satellite cities across the Midwest. And he's thinking, he's looking through the train window, he's thinking about the snow, he's thinking about Midwestern homes and their solidity and their, their values, really. Um, but the key point is it's my Midwest. It's not the Midwest, it's not a Midwest, it's his. Um, which is to say that his perception of the Midwest is entirely filtered through his own set of experiences and his own perceptions. And I think your talks in some way are getting at this idea that this is, this is by no means a fixed category, that so, so many of our conceptions come from, of the Midwest come from our vantage, our perspective, and our experiences. And I think, John, you're shifting maps, get at this too, as, as well, the way people identify as the way the region is defined. So I was wondering if you could say a little bit more about that, or if it's true, or any, you know, any, any, the, 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 the representative nature, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, a shameless plug for Middle West Review, I think, <laughs> I think Toby's article on the heartland and what it all means in the cultural history of the term heartland, yeah. forgive me if I'm not remembering this right, but that first ran, or iteration yeah. of ran in Middle West Review, yeah. maybe in our first issue. Yeah, so there you go. Another good reason to buy a Middle West Review. <laughs>